Ah, there we go. Okay, yep. here we go. Well, look who's here with us. We are so excited to have Dr. Kurt Newman with us today. We're going to catch up a little bit, buddy. Uh, for those of you who, who have been with the uh, Q102 Cares for Kids Radiothon for all these years, you know Dr. Kurt, but we have so many new listeners and, and new viewers uh, who may not know you yet. Dr. Kurt Newman became CEO of Children's National the same year we started, 10 years ago. And in those 10 years, quite quite a few uh, really a major accomplishments. Uh, in, in 10 years, you have become Washington Business Journal's you got their highest honor, CEO of the year last year. Uh, so this is just to give you an idea of the caliber guy this is. But just so you know, we love him. He's the greatest fella, and he cares so much about our kids and the health of our kids. And you were a pediatrician for long before that. So Dr. Kurt, so glad to be with you. Thank you so much for taking some of your very, very precious time and spending it with us today. We always look forward to talking to you. Well, Chris and Rosie, uh, you know, it's just uh, terrific to be with you. Uh, uh, you know, your friends, uh, your colleagues, your partners. Uh, we, uh, you know, essentially started together. I think our, uh, our individual successes have, uh, you know, kind of been side by side. And uh, it's just having the uh, kind of people uh, like you and your listeners and the community aligned with uh, Children's National, I think is it's just so meaningful and it's been meaningful uh, uh, to me. I need to correct a little something though, oh. uh, uh, Chris, I don't want to uh, disrupt your research, but I, I was a pediatric surgeon. So, oh, good uh, Lord. Uh, okay. That's right. That's right. So, so most of my career at what has, uh, in, in fact, my entire career has been as a surgeon at, at Children's. And then I made this turn to the uh, uh, leadership side 10 years ago and, you know, working with people like you and to find ways to support the hospital and our mission and our community. Uh, it's just so satisfying. So what accomplishment are you most proud of in the last 10 years with children's? There are a lot to choose from, right? Right. Yeah, you know, uh, and it's been really highlighted here during the pandemic, uh, uh, Rosie and Chris, is, is our people. Uh, the Just the doctors, the nurses, the people that keep the hospital clean, uh, the, you know, the frontline workers that not only have always been there to take care of patients, but now they've stepped up and, and, and worked even harder. And that's true across the country. I've been just thrilled to see the, the courage, but for our folks, uh, that culture and that connection uh, that brings people to work at Children's, you know, it's about the kids. And I keep telling them, I say, look, I know it's hard now, but you're going to look back and this is going to be probably one of the most meaningful uh, times of your life and career that what you've been able to give back while you're sacrificing at home. And I just see what they do every day. I mean, they're, they're just wow. relentless. Uh, taking care of kids with cancer or heart problems and, and, and all the mental health uh, uh, things we've been seeing in kids. Uh, so uh, to me, uh, yeah, there's a lot of recognitions and there's a lot of uh, programs that we built and you know, really moved uh, Children's National to the top rank of children's hospitals across the country. But it's the people that, that, that did that and, and that's what I'm most proud of. Kurt, I've told you this every time we've talked, because it's completely true. It does not matter what you do at Children's National, what your occupation is there. If you are the top surgeon, the top nurse, uh, right, right down to the guy who tells you where to park the car. Everybody cares about the people walking into that building and everyone's focused on the kids. And, and it is remarkable to see everybody's got the same, you're going in the same direction with the same amount of care. And, and it, it does all, it shows, it right? Absolutely. Does. It stands out to someone who's never been there before. You walk in and suddenly you realize, hey, everybody has a mission and the mission is the kids. It's true. And it, it, it always makes me go, wow, that is, that's some great leadership. And that, that starts at the top. We know that. Well, you know, uh, and uh, you know, being on the uh, show with you all just reminds me, and I just love it when you're at the hospital and you're, you know, kind of part of the, you know, you're part of our family and you're, you know, there's the, the therapy dogs over there. There's a helicopter landing on the roof. There's people walking through with children that are, you know, 
facing some of the most significant things, but there's this spirit of, of, of can do, you know, like, uh, and you, and you draw that energy from the kids, you know, you, you kind of feel it. Uh, and one of the things that, uh, uh, you also mentioned that I'm proud of is that we've been able to take care of kids no matter what, no matter what their financial situation is, no matter what they need. Uh, and it's partnerships like uh, with you all and uh, the radio station and uh, that have been consistently supporting us so that our doctors and nurses don't have to worry about it. Does that kid have insurance or are they on Medicaid or, or whatever? They can just focus on taking care of that child or family doesn't really have to worry about are the resources going to be there? Are they going to get top 10 level resource? And that's why, why this show is so important. And I'm so appreciative of you spreading the word because we get so many kids and families, uh, you know, from, from the region, from Winchester, uh, all of your, uh, the, the Shenandoah there. Uh, and, you know, we feel like you know, we're their children's hospital, just like we're the children's hospital for Maryland or, or the District of Columbia, because, mm -hmm. uh, and that's why I think you join with us. You want to see uh, th those kids and families get that top level care. You do take care of our kids. We always say this is, this is our children's hospital, Children's National. Uh, 10 years have come and gone. Uh, and, and you look at uh, our listeners are so dedicated to this. They have really embraced this and realized, yeah, we got to support this. A as you look at the, the Q102 Cares for Kids Radiothon, 10 years, what has it meant to you and what has it meant to the hospital? Well, uh, first of all, uh, you know, spreading the word that there is a, a world-class children's hospital, not that far away. Uh, there's doctors and nurses that are going to take care of your, your, your kid with the uh, most complicated things uh, and, and, and get the best outcomes. So you're uh, creating that awareness in the community there because not everybody knows that, you know, they may not think of that. And so um, if their friend or their neighbor or their church or wherever it is, oh, yeah, but, you know, Children's Nationals, you know, we're part of that family. And then second, you know, uh, and we've all seen it here during the pan pandemic, uh, finances get tight. And so to have the uh, resources that you all have provided over the last 10 years, I, you know, I know it's in the, you know, there's a lot of zeros behind uh, yeah. what you all have uh, uh, put together. And that gives me the confidence that we can deliver that kind of care that I don't have to worry about getting a top doctor or, uh, uh, mm -hmm. you know, we're, right in the midst of, you know, there's a lot of pressure on the nurses and respiratory therapists and pharmacists. And uh, so we need the resources to be able to have the best people. And that's where this, uh, you know, Radiothon comes in year after year, because uh, that gives us that kind of confidence that uh, we can get the best talent and keep the best talent uh, for your families. I mean, it's your families. Uh, and so that's what I love about it. Plus, there's the added little extra. I love you two guys. I, I mean, I'm, I'm just going to say it right here on the show. I can't, you know, it's just, uh, uh, you know, we've become great friends over the last 10 years. Yeah. And uh, it's, I just always look forward to uh, being with you. We, we really do too. So, so we've got a lot of folks from our area who are watching this right now or listening right now, who have given month after month as miracle makers. Uh, and a lot of folks just at this Radiothon, it's their first Radiothon they've tuned into and they've become miracle makers donating to Children's National. Um, what, what would you like to say to those folks who support every single month? What, what would you like to say after all these 10 years, what would you say to them? I would say thank you, uh, first of all, and it, it just means so much. And I, I wish I could thank each and every one of them in person because I know times are tough and uh, whatever contribution somebody's making these days uh, is significant. And uh, they're uh, putting it out there. Uh, they're take, they have choices. They could be uh, uh, doing a lot of other things with the investment that they're making uh, uh, through you all for our hospital. And so, you know, that in and of itself is meaningful. Uh, just that feeling uh, that they want to be part of something and, and support something, whatever they can do. And uh, 
that steadiness and that loyalty <clears throat> when you're um, a CEO like me, knowing that you've got that uh, mm -hmm. kind of people, those kind of folks behind you, I tell you, just uh, there's nothing that can replace that. It gives you the courage to make big decisions or take risks, uh, which are all uh, uh, guided toward really providing those uh, services that, that the people need and that they can't get anywhere else. And that's, we want to be that resource, but we need that kind of help too. And so the other side of it too, Chris and Rosie, is that, you know, you never know whether it's your child or a neighbor's child or a grandchild or somebody you may not even know that lives, you know, down the road. Uh, that those that they're going to be helped, and that's got to be very satisfying to, for your supporters to know that they're making that kind of an impact. They love our kids, and they believe in your hospital. and And this is the top guy who uh, who shepherds everyone every day at that hospital where miracles really happen. Dr. Kurt Newman, we're so proud to call you friend. Thank you again so much for taking some time to spend with us today. We know you were super busy helping kids. That's what you do. Uh, we just goof around on the air and have fun. <laughs> but what you do is so important. Yeah, we should have a job exchange sometime. I'd love to goof <laughs> around on the air. And you come down and <laughs> you, ever want you come down uh, and be CEO one of these days. And uh, uh, Maybe with the clowns you've got in the, uh, like <laughs> the clown doctors, we can maybe do that. <laughs> maybe. Uh, but anyway, listen, give everyone there our, our love, please. We haven't been able to be there for a couple of years because of the pandemic, but we love you so much. Everyone in that hospital and everyone here in Shenandoah country is rooting for you, praying for you to continue helping our kids. And we appreciate you so much. Thank you. Good to see you both. Good to see you. Good to you. see you. Have a great weekend. <laughs> you too, you buddy. Too.